Do you speak positively to yourself? Do you wallow in self-pity? Okay, bad things happen. But you have to spend time with low quality people. A man can either make you or break it by yourself that you cannot make peace with. Fix it. Another person's growth will not have any negative effects on you. Your friends are not your therapists. I used to cover my, my chin and say, Oh, this is so beautiful without those marks. <laughs> YouTube channel. My name is Abigail aka Jalaf Nas. I'm a senior year nursing student who is based in Boston, Massachusetts. I, pay, I post videos about nursing school. I post sit down videos like this and I share my experience as an immigrant in the United States. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Please don't just watch and subscribe. If you like what you see, subscribe. Even if you don't like, pity me and subscribe. Mm -mm. Don't be too proud. Thank you so much. We are trying to reach 300k, 300 for, um, subscribers. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button so other people can be able to watch my video. So, moving on to today's video, I'm going to be talking about self confidence. I'm going to be talking about why is it so hard to get self confidence and what could be challenging. I'm going to share my own experience personally over the years and how I was able to gain self confidence from having no confidence at all. So, moving on right next to the video, I'm going to talk about the three things that I kind of had that made me have low self-confidence. The first one was my travel marks. The second one was my dentition. I really hate my dentition. If you know me, I love to laugh. But when I used to laugh back then, I cover my mouth to laugh because I hated my dentition. I hated my dentition. And then another thing is I wasn't good academically. So all of that did not let me be confident they ate at my self-esteem so moving on to the video what is the first thing i'm going to talk about the first thing i'm going to talk about is how do you see yourself do you count yourself worthy do you count yourself as someone that has a voice that can be heard or do you rather look down upon yourself because whether you like it or not we are the most critical of ourselves and it's very hard for us to you know be easier on ourselves to be like Oh, I'm a stupid person. No, I'm, I can never get this right. Do you speak positively into your life? Do you speak positively to yourself? Do you wallow in self-pity? Oh, all of this has happened to me. I am so miserable. How do you expect to gain any confidence? Mean you're telling yourself, oh, I am so miserable. I have no hope. All of this is happening to me. When you're faced in a situation where you have to be confident, you can't be confident because you already do not believe in yourself. You don't like your body that's fine if you don't like your body why don't you like your body because someone else doesn't like it or because you don't like it if you don't like it how do you want to change it do you want to change it from a place of self-love or a place of self-hate are you trying to lose some weight because you hate your body or are you trying to lose your weight because you love your body and you want to see that you can do better if you are trying to lose weight from a place of self-hate it's never going to happen your body would never be able to lose any weight because I feel like losing weight and everything is a lot of psychologically and physically. If you're speaking negatively to yourself and saying, oh, I hate my body, look at my belly, you're never going to lose that weight. Love yourself, be gentle with yourself, and see the way you would lose weight and get whatever desire you want. And that is how you're also going to say your confidence will shoot up. Because if you're speaking nicely to yourself, you will never even allow anybody else speak negatively to you. Or speak bad at you because you yourself you've already spoken positively to yourself practice words of affirmation okay yeah miserable things has happened to you but are you well in in that self-pity you're never going to grow up you're never going to have any self-confidence at all because you keep well in in self-pity get up do the work do the work fix it it's okay bad things happen but you have to tell yourself use words of affirmation I am not my past. I am not my trauma. I am not my pain. I am not my depression. I am not my anxiety. I am positive things. I can do it. I can do this. Speak positively into yourself and see the way things will change for you and how your confidence will go up. Next thing is, who do you surround yourself with? People like me, when I used to deal with lots of confidence, I tend to stay with anybody that would take me. As far as you take me, as far as you let me be in your friend group, I don't mind. And those kind of people notice that you don't have any self-esteem. They eat at it and they keep, they keep picking at it. They never help you truly grow. 
So spend time with people that would help you grow. Spend time with people that will teach you to love yourself. That will teach you. Even fast, the way they love you will make you love yourself even more. The way they love you will make your confidence go up. Do you spend time with friends that magnify your flaws and they reduce your self-esteem? Or do you spend time with friends that celebrate your big wins? And even though you have flaws, they don't magnify it. They magnify the good things. Which one do you think you're going to have more self-confidence with? Someone that is magnifying your flaws and eating at your self-esteem or someone that is magnifying your good style and celebrating your small wins. Who do you think you have more self-confidence with? Of course, with people celebrating your small wins. Spend time with people that are already confident. Learn from them. Don't be afraid to learn from people. Or if you see someone has a good quality, learn from them. I see my friend. She dresses better than me. What do I want to do? I get close to her. I learn from her. How do you do it? Where do you shop? What, what do you do? You know, I want to learn from you. I'm willing to learn from you. Be humble enough to be willing to learn from another person. Because one thing about knowledge is that it does not matter where you get it from. All that matters is that it is now yours. Nobody's going to ask you, oh, who taught you to dress like that? All that matters is that it is now yours. It is mine. And with that, you see that your confidence is going to shoot up. Don't spend time with low quality people. The kind of man that you are a woman you try to engage with. Make sure they boost your self-esteem and they boost your self-confidence. Don't be with a man because men are very powerful. A man can either make you or break you. A man can either be like, you can do this, you're smart, you know, or you can either say, oh, you're so ugly, you're so stupid, you never get anything right. Be careful with the kind of people you hang around with. The third one is, what do you base your confidence upon? What do you base your confidence upon? Do you base your confidence upon surface level thing that can easily diminish? Or do you base your confidence upon hard things that, ah, oh, if I don't get it, I can't be confident person. Like I said, I wasn't good academically. So I made it my goal in life to make sure I became good academically, to become a good student. And I noticed that after that, I usually don't have like a, when I get an B, Instead of getting a hey, I'm not happy. Why? Because I've put my self-worth, I've attached my self-worth to my grade. So don't attach your self-worth to something that can be quite difficult to achieve. You know, attach it to something that is soft, something you're able to grow, something you're able to grow and watch. I did not like my skin, okay, because I had a lot of pimples. So what do I do? I'm going to try to, instead of going to monthly facials, and from that, now, nobody can tell me nothing. I'm really not shining. Of course I'm doing it. It's something I can grow. It's something I can grow. It's something I can keep working at. That is why my confidence is going to grow. Not because I'm like, oh, my grades. Oh, my body. I don't like it. I said I didn't like my dentition either. I still don't, but I've made peace with it. So if there's something about yourself that you cannot make peace with, fix it. If you cannot make peace with it, fix it. I might fix my teeth sometime. I might not. I don't know. But if you cannot make peace with it, fix it, please. So that your confidence can boost up. Trust me. Then the next thing I want to talk about is don't compare yourself with anybody. If you're comparing yourself with somebody else, you would never become confident. You will never grow. Never grow. You will keep looking at that person. Imagine if I never started working on my skin. Imagine if I kept saying... Oh, look at that person. Their skin is so clear. Oh, whatever. I'm jealous. Why can't my skin be that clear? My friend, you don't like your skin because it's not clear. Can you start working on it? Can you leave the other person with a clear skin? Did they achieve their clear skin by eating on another person? No. Remove every form of hatred and every form of comparison. Like they say, comparison is a thief of joy. So focus on yourself. Groom yourself. Keep working at it. Rome isn't built in a day. You can't get what you want in one thing. Don't compare yourself. Don't compare your grades. Don't compare anything. Work at your own pace. Do your own thing. And then you will see that your confidence will shoot up. And then people, people even if someone is trying to intimidate, intimidate you or trying to make you feel bad, it won't have any effect on you because you're only focused on yourself. You're only focused on building yourself and becoming a better person. And another person's growth will not have any negative effects on you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm? okay don't don't spend time being jealous and instead of fixing what you need to fix do what you have to do move on and there's no need to even focus on other people i said learn from other people i don't say compare yourself with them okay take note 
so next thing i'm going to say is do the internal work hmm. this one i think it is it is very very important to do internal work because a lot of us people like me too that we deal with low self-esteem or low confidence because a lot of things has happened to us in the past and these things have stayed with us because we've never really like tend to it you never really tend to your trauma you never really tend to it you never really do anything about it so they keep following you around you see your relationship is poor because maybe your mom and your dad didn't treat you well growing up you can't have a firm relationship with a man you can't have a relationship with with her with with a friend you know i notice that i usually get very disappointed when someone cancels on me and my friend was like that seems like it's coming from somewhere deeper like what's going on and then I started talking to somebody professionally too, of course, in order to help me. And we went over it together and it seemed like being the firstborn daughter, it is very hard to feel prioritized because it is always, what about your sisters? What about your brother? What about your mom? What about your uncle? It's very hard to feel like there's actually somebody that cares about you and wants you to be priority. So talk to somebody, you know, talk to somebody professionally, talk to a therapist. This is very important because you would never have any self-esteem you would never go if there's still something glooming around you that's like eating at your self-esteem maybe your parents didn't treat you well and you still remember that and you're still feeling worthless talk to somebody about it your friends are not your therapists okay i used to do that too i used to dump all my trauma on my friends now that i think about it i'm not saying your friends can't be there for you if you have don't dump on your trauma on your friends. That's not what I'm saying. And I'm not saying don't have friends you can talk to. But what I'm saying is that it might not be fair on, on your part to talk to your friends when you don't know where they are at mentally. Okay? So talk to someone that is professional and someone that has already gone to school for that reason. Okay? Don't just be talking about your drama. you wallowing around. you sad. You feel miserable. You feel so gloomy. Oh, I used to do that all. Oh. I will make sure the lights are turned off. I'll put sad music. You know, we all do that. We start crying. Why? Talk to somebody. Talk about it. Fix it. You know, it, it's it's not easy. It's going to take a lot of work. But you can do it, okay? I believe in you. If I can do it, you can do it. I don't think I'm the most confident person yet. You know, I'm still working on it. It's just something you have to keep working on. But when I talk to somebody, it gives me clarity on how, I'm, how I feel and why I'm feeling that way and how I can stop avoid feeling that way you know confidence is a continuous thing you have to keep doing it there's never going to be a time where you're like oh I'm not a confident person yay no that's never going to happen I know that I used to cover my my chin and say I'll be so beautiful without this mask oh I look so so ugly because of this tribal mask I just wish I remember I used to be like, mommy, can I use a sandpaper to rub it off? My mom was like, nothing can take it out. I'm like, why did you let them give it to me? You know, I didn't like that. And somehow, because I grew up, I feel like a lot of things was also because I wasn't growing up. I was like 10 years old then or 11. Because I grew up, I've become more confident in my trouble marks. I love my trouble marks. I think they're really beautiful. Okay. I think they're really beautiful. But after that, when I got to university, I needed to become confident again. I needed to be able to speak to other people. When I got to America, I needed to be confident. I needed to make sure that I am not being feeling very low because I feel inferior to anybody. When I started at university in nursing school, I needed to be confident because I needed to make sure that, you know, I wasn't like, I wasn't going to be able to put out my bears because I felt intimidated by other people. When I in front of a patient i need to be confident you know there's always going to be new circumstances that need you to be confident and you're going to need to show up one time my instructor was like my clinical instructor was like oh abby i like the way you went in there with so much confidence i'm like no i wasn't confident and she's like oh so you fake it till you make it do what you have to do okay because sometimes some new situations they'll have to take time for you to grow confidence fake it till you make it until you become like that don't let anybody see you down okay always be the girl always be strong okay another thing i'm going to say is that are you too accessible everybody has access to you you don't have any filter uh-uh every time there's something wrong with you you've already spoken to one person that person that person that person why you don't have any secrets to yourself have some things that you keep to yourself 
if you're someone like me, I'm an extrovert. I like to be around people. I like to talk to people a lot. And sometimes when you talk a lot, you don't realize that you said something you're not supposed to say. Sometimes I tell myself, oh my God, I just overshared. I did not mean to overshare. It was not on purpose. But because you talk, 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 talk too much, there's no filter. People that want to listen, they don't really want to listen. They just want to hear gossip. Okay? So I have some things that are secret that, okay, I keep this to myself. So if you're someone like me that likes to talk about things to get it out of their system, there are other things that you can do. I'm going to give you some things that have helped me. Some things that have helped me include journaling. When you write about it, it's also leaving your system that way. So I get a journal, get a book. Whatever you're feeling at that moment, write it, express it. Your journal will never tell another person. Okay? You can never have, you can never have told a friend something and then be scared that one day what if we fight? One day, what if we fight and this friend uses this thing against me? Okay, what if they tell someone else? Your journal will never tell anybody else. Another thing that I've also said is that get a therapist. Okay, speak to somebody professionally. That way, it's not just staying inside you. And you're not just worried about telling your friends and one day they will, they will tell other people. But you're speaking to somebody that will keep your matters confidential and keep it to themselves only. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to share some, some gems today. I didn't think I was in a position in, to shoot a video on self-confidence, but oh well, I feel like I can. Why not? So I hope you've learned something from me and from my experience and that you're able to become more confident. Remember, babes, we fake it until we make it, okay? You're beautiful. Your body is beautiful. You have a nice body. Mm -hmm. Trust me, don't let nobody, okay? Nobody tell you anything else. The only person that can tell you is yourself. And remember what we say, speak positively to yourself, okay? I'm always here. If you need a little boost of confidence, I'm always here to boost you up, okay? All right then. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and comment and share with me any other ideas you have on how to be more self-confident i'd like to learn from you let me know if you've dealt with low self-esteem and are you able to overcome it all right guys thank you so much that wraps up today's video bye guys bye my confident babes and kings bye